Welcome Joystick Justice League to episode three of Joystick Justice League Battle Arena, or JGLBA for short. I'm one of your two combatants today, Mike Fursios. I'm Joe Moore. And we're gonna be playing Injustice, Gods Among Us. Joe, so uh, this came out from NetherRealm Studios, the, the company that uh, rebooted Mortal Kombat to some really great heights. Mm -hmm. uh, what can you say about this game, their follow-up to Mortal Kombat? Well, another, yeah, these guys really know how to make uh, fighting games, obviously, and you said they, they did an awesome job with Mortal Kombat. And uh, this is, uh, you know, this is, uh, if you're a DC, uh, if you're a comic book fan, if you're, uh, you know, if you're a Batman fan, or any of the uh, heroes and villains in the DC universe, I mean, you're, you're, uh, you're gonna find some good stuff here. This is based on the Injustice miniseries that came out in the 90s. Yeah. So kind of uh, sum, sum it up for us. I mean, it's a pretty complex plot. That, that's the one really great thing about this game is that NetherRealm has brought storytelling to a new mm. height in, in terms of how it incorporates it into fighting games with cutscenes. How can you kind of sum up this really crazy story for us? It, it, it's uh, there's just like some alternate kind of universe. I mean, I think even some of your uh, the enemies and some of the bad guys, you're gonna see them. I think things are getting tossed around here. You know, uh, what uh, certain characters are doing. It, it's uh, I think people are gonna be a little bit surprised when they play through the uh, the single player. Yeah, and, yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's, it takes place between two parallel worlds. worlds yeah. Essentially, what happens is that uh, Superman ends up kills the Joker uh, in the beginning of the story, which is against the code, Batman sees it, and this launches this kind of, like, this cross-dimension uh, battle between the good and evil iterations of each character or villain, where lines are crossed and shit happens. I mean, again, you have to play for yourself. There's so many twists and turns, but just, <coughs> just beautiful the way that they did this campaign. It's not the traditional fighting game formula, kind of like Mortal Kombat was. The same with the reboot, where you don't play as one character through the whole campaign, but you play as pretty much everybody in this intertwining story. Yeah, that's a really cool thing. You're not just playing as one player all the way through. You know, and, and uh, this is uh, Injustice. You got uh, every member of the, the Justice League. Yep. And finally, a game, Justice Justice League, playing a Justice League game. That's right. That's right. Uh, in terms of uh, yeah, so in terms of playing mechanics, what what Never Realm really got right about the Mortal Kombat reboot, and especially with this is yes it has the trappings of a lot of modern fighters but really at the core of it it gets down to its basics very simplified controls intuitive based on the old mark mortal kombat street fighter combo systems and, and, it, and after a while it really is pick up and play you know it, you can you can be a master of this and master all the combos or you can just get in start matching some buttons and probably get away with some shit. i mean it's a lot of fun um in terms of the next gen versions that have come out if you already bought the previous gen versions very little upgrade. I mean, the PS3 and 360 versions already look amazing using that Unreal yeah. Engine, the Autodesk. Yep. Fantastic looking game on 7th Gen, but the good thing about the next gen version is that it does have all the DLC bundled in and the extra star missions. Yeah. And I mean, it does look pretty, I'm not gonna lie. It does really look nice on the PS4, but I mean, if you've got the 7th gen version already, it's worth it. So Joe, um, let's do this. We're just gonna basically do some battles, track the wins and, and like I'm not a big fighting game guy. I'll be honest. Like I, I used to be when I was 12, 13. The, the Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition and Turbo Boom when Mortal 2 came out. Then the 3D fighters started coming out. Wasn't really my thing. Like mm -hmm. I tried getting into Tekken and Virtual Fighter. I, I it just wasn't my thing. But um, I don't know, man. Like fighting games have evolved very, very quickly. And okay, here we go. Very quickly, and I kind of missed the, missed the boat. So we'll see how I can kind of fumble my way through this. Who are you gonna pick? Let's see here. So who are you going with? You're going with uh, let's, Lex. You know, let's uh, let's let's do some uh, classic. But here, let's uh, let's start off with. Uh, well, I'm gonna. You gonna be Aquaman? We're gonna do Aquaman. We'll start off with some Aquaman. All right. Let's do some. Uh, uh, let's let's do Aquaman versus Batman. Batman. And yeah, and the other thing is that the the, deep, the the environments are gorgeous in this game. Very detailed, lots of lots of dining, and you can use the environment to your advantage, which is awesome. So you pick a stage here, Joe. Oh, am I am I picking it here? So we'll just go to let's go to Gotham. Yep. All right. Right. Yeah, so I mean, okay, so Mortal Kombat obviously has the fatalities. This doesn't have fatalities. You're not allowed to kill each other, so it has. Badass super moves. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sure, yeah. yeah some massive yeah. destructing like just, uh, moves of destruction. Only thing that was a little odd about this game though is that you don't really have that that cathartic ending to a battle. Like sometimes yeah. a battle can end on a jab. So we're gonna see if uh, 
Batman, one of the most popular superheroes, can, can beat Aquaman, Aquaman, who can talk to fish. Some little inf- <laughs> Oof. Ooh, the trash talk begins. All right, so here we go. So I use the D-pad. Joe's more of an analog stick guy. Oh, you don't fuck with the man. Oh, man, like, I forgot how great this looks on PS3. I'd say the PS4 version just, you know, sharper lines. Same frame rate. Oh, yeah. Now, I mean, if you are a combo master, the one thing about this this game is it's very precise. You can you there's a certain timing to the combos. There is no real, I'd say, flexibility outside of that standard timing that the developers want you to hit to really execute that combo. So there are times in the the tutorial if you're a fighting game novice, you will get stuck. There's just a rhythm to this you gotta learn. Oh, I took out your first life bar. Oh. So that's the other thing this game does really well. It kind of without breaking up the battle, you don't have rounds. You have two life bars. And it just goes to the bitter end until one person falls. Oh, here we go with the wager system. So this is where you can use up your your power meter to see who's going to finish one of these head-to-head -head clashes. And I won that one, so I actually won a little bit of extra health. Yes. But I, I used up, see the bottom meter is where you can store up your super ability once you fill it, fill it up. You can pull off like a devastating super move, which is pretty awesome. Multi-level combat too, like the Mortal Kombat iterations previously, you can knock somebody into another part of the arena. Just jump around. Oh! oh yeah, you take it. You take that, Batman. Bruce Wayne. Oh Bizzle. Aquaman. Alright, that's one for Aquaman. Batman was having an off day. <laughs> Ooh, you leveled up too. <coughs> too shabby. But that's the thing, I mean, don't think that you can mush, mash buttons forever and survive a game like this online. This is hardcore, this is esports. People who know how to, who watch frames and know combo timing, they'll kick your ass. You can't just match buttons forever. Okay, so we'll select a new fighter rematch. Now let's do new fighters. New fighters, sorry. We'll, we'll go across the DC universe here. Yeah, DC had a big year last year mm -hmm. with this Scribble Knots Unmasked, uh, the Infinite Crisis MOBA. Uh, DC's hot shit right now. You know they're really, I think, picking up the slack where Marvel's kind of oversaturated themselves. All right, let's pull in the yokester here, man. All right, I'm gonna choose. No, I'm gonna be Wonder Woman. Wow, you're gonna make me hit a lady. All right, uh, yeah, well, you pick a you pick a level here. Going away. In... Let's do. We're just salty. Alright, let's do that. Okay, so Joker's pretty badass in this game. Um, you know, he, he's, he's a trickster, obviously. He lives up to his name, but he just a lot of cool special yeah. attacks, technology. Yeah. But yeah, that's the one thing about this game is the special attacks never get old. Yeah. They're, they're, they're so, they're so, they're just so over the top and crazy. I'm still relatively new to this game, so I'm trying to figure out what the, co what the combo system will be, so. Square, square, triangle, just bash buttons, something will happen. <laughs> We're both novices, I think we can both get away with the button, button mashing at this point, make something happen. Oh! Oh, no! Oh boy, jungle. Oh, right, leave my face alone. Okay, Joker, you fucking suck. I take it all back. You guys suck, filthy casuals. Trying to play fighting okay. games. Damn, Damn fuck you. Gamers. Oh. All right, Wonder Woman. I think you're hot shit. You're dealing with the man who started this whole fucking crisis here. 
Oh my, Chalk, you fucking useless, buddy. That was a good drop attempt. Ah, he screamed like a little girl. Did you hear that? Ah! Uh oh, super move. Oh no! It's over. Oh! <laughs> that was good. That was, that was, that was fantastic. I think I figured that out. Ouch! Ooh, she, her titty got cut off. And a trophy. Oh, yeah. I think maybe you get like a half a point for getting a trophy on your <laughs> <laughs> And you're always unlocking stuff in this game. There's, that's the one thing I forgot to mention. It's like you've got a robust multiplayer, and then you've got STAR Star Lab missions where it's all these little challenges, tons of shit to keep you coming back for more. To really, like to complete this game, it's going to take you a long time. Yeah. There's just so much content to this. And yeah, very serious community. I mean, if you're afraid of online, tread lightly here because there's no yeah. forgiveness. You know what I think we should do next is the classic Batman versus Superman. Yeah? All right, I'll take Superman. All right. Superman. Lots of different costumes too. There's like zombie iterations. Uh, let's go to, let's go to Arkansas. All right. This is this is to see who, who the true leader of, of the of the justice. And, the, and, the, and those who uh, you know the true uh, oh, battle between oh, these two was uh, Frank Miller's uh, Batman Dark Knight Returns. Yep. yep. And those who did who did that, no one knew that uh, that Batman came on top. That's right. In a very clever way. All right, here it is. I don't want to spoil it for people who haven't read or or uh, saw the animated movie remake uh, version of that. So. Thank you. Oh, here comes the jumping game. Jump, dive kick, dive kick. Oh, that was good. Yeah. Oh, fuck off with your bat bombs. Oh shit! Block it! Ah oh, no! Here comes the Batmobile! Oh! I needed the job. Oh, here it comes! Oh. <laughs> Look out! That was a super easy one. Uh oh! Uh oh! I can I, I can return the favor. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit! Yes. That's the greatest uppercut ever. Lost him into space. Back down. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you see the environment just destroy. It's awesome. I love the dynamic environment. It's fantastic. Woo wee! I don't know, Batman. I don't know. Oh, wow. we may have to revisit Man. that one. Superman makes Superman makes spam out of Batman. Makes him wow. make, turns him into Batwoman. It's also cool how they break down the stats of your match too. Yep. It's really deep. Again, just constantly unlocking stuff. Just if it's if it's not characters or levels, it's costumes, it's fan art. There's just this is just a. A real love letter to fans, mm -hmm. and, and I really think that it's establishing Nether Realm as one of the premier fighting game makers. I, I think that between this and Mortal Kombat, I think everyone's looking to what they're going to do next. All right, here we go. Let's go a little bad here. Let's go with Deathstroke, Deathstroke. Arkham Origins. Let's go Bane. Bane. Oof. Right, you pick the level here. Let's go to Main Manor. Alright, here we go. It's 
spring cleaning bitch, <laughs> Wayne Manor. You gotta rearrange your decor. Yep. These are two guys to do it, that's for sure. Juicing up, oh yeah, here we go. Oh, Destro with the cheap shot to start things off. What are you doing? What, like, you meant to? Oh, <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> When in doubt, okay. Sonic Boom, Hadouken, sure you can. That'll probably get you somewhere. That's that's my, my rule of thumb for most modern fighting games. Just copy Street Fighter and you'll probably get some kind of comp. Hey, start with light attacks, finish it off with a heavy. I did good with Wonder Woman. Maybe you just need to be a chick, Joe. <laughs> Alright, let's go with the uh, let's go with the arrow here. Yeah. Arrow's badass, man. Alright, let's go... <laughs> this is gonna be heavy. Let's go watch tower. Watch tower? Try and see a little bit of everything here. Such a gorgeous game though, man. They really did a beautiful job yep. on 7 chat with this, man. Yep, it looks great on PS3. The only thing with PS4, I'd say it's, it's a little less grainy and just the 720 and 1080p, that's it. But other than that, like... Cutscenes actually look identical. And less loading times, I guess. But for fighting game fans, this is a must buy. This is like the next generation of fighters right here, man. Good round. 
Oh, wrong move at the wrong time. Oh, ho, 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 nice. Yeah! That was stupid. What are you doing, Arrow? Do it! No! Oh, I did it! Yes. That was a close battle. Yeah. Oh, the Take arrow! Didn't really care for that last move though, but good match, good, yeah. good fast-paced match. You can even see the damage on the, yeah. uh, the master too. That, that's really cool. I like that. Oh. And I mean, like again, you know, this is just the this is the basic on-disc roster. I mean, you can actually buy the ultimate edition on all platforms actually that has all the fighters and there's tons man like literally tons yeah. lobo's in this too which is awesome yeah. let's go with uh let's go with doomsday yeah. okay go... i'm surprised uh shazam is in this oh there he is thank you my oh there he is shazam shazam Let's go to Joker's Asylum. Joker's Asylum. Okay, let's see if Shazam can do something here. Alright. Alright, the guy who killed Superman. What a beast. <laughs> This really is like one of the ultimate ways to solve fanboy battles. I mean, I mean come on, Sam, ass whooped here. Whoa. crazy about Doomsday. Like he's, he's a brawler, but he yeah. doesn't really have a lot of specials. He has some bone crushing combos, though. He can yeah, he definitely cause some destruction. Okay, so it's four to two for Mike right now. It's mm -hmm. still close, 
close game. We'll go for we'll go to the half hour mark. See where we are. Yep. Uh, who else? Fuck around with here. Oh yeah, let's do let's go with Harley Quinn. All right, I'll do Catwoman. Oh, sexy time! All right, so let's yep. go to let's go to Atlantis. Yeah. Sounds good. Fight underwater. So you get cat fight. Literally. This is where Alchemy is, so maybe I'll get the... I'm gonna drown your fucking <laughs> ass in Atlantis and leave you there. Winner gets to bang Alchemy. That's right. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> this is where if I like the prize. Okay. You're a virtual boy. Justice League, it's like, it, 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 he's always, uh, it didn't really seem like a super kind of a hero, but uh, he still got in there. Yeah, he's, you know, he knew somebody. <laughs> pay, yeah. pay, it's all about who you know. Every match is just epic too, the way they set it up. It's yep. just, it's so good. Oof. Oh, yeah! Grab your ass in midair. Yeah, what the hell? I'm a zombie horde. You're out to help me. Oh, Whoa! Pull out the fucking cleaver! Oof, 
devastating. Of course, somebody's got to call me in the middle of the game. Oh, what happened? Oh, I got canceled. There we go. Oh! Oh, it's got to be something. Oh my god. <laughs> Vibrate next time? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, now we're even. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Whoa, whoa, Spider Man. I don't know who that was. Wrong universe. Is, folks, that is my landlord calling me. <laughs> there Making too much noise. Time to pay the rents. We're trying to record! Alright, so yeah, let's, uh, let's do one more uh, match. Well, you know what? Let's see. Uh, if you win the next one, that'll bring you to five to four. We'll see if you can tie this up. If I win the next one, we'll wrap it. So let's. this will be the next battle to see if we keep going here. Alright, so who are you, you going to finish this? Who's going to be. Your your uh, your uh, game changer here. Game changer. Let's see here. Uh, let's try somebody. Let's try this Aries guy. Aries, eh? Aries. Right, let's go with Green Lantern. Green Lantern. Uh, we can try this one. Yeah. Insurgency. Let's try let's see. Okay. Yeah, you know, I, I'd say most combat moves, it's, it's, it's that God of War, yeah. you know, kind of mentality, you know, weak, weak, strong, you know, a lot of stuff can be done. Just And the good thing, too, is that a lot of the the move uh, maneuvers, like the button maneuvers, are pretty much constant across most characters, which is nice. You don't have to remember a lot of different stuff for each character, it's just different variations. Oh, good combo. There we go.
Oh, shit. All right. Well, I don't think we 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 stopped playing this game. I think we can, we we definitely have a future to this one. I think we'll, we'll get into this oh, yeah. one with hopefully with some more contestants. So that's just a taste of what injustice gods among us has to offer. So yeah, I mean, if, if you're a fighting enthusiast, definitely. I mean, what are you what are you thinking if you haven't played this? But even if you're not, would you say the average person that's into comics but maybe not into fighting games could get into this anyway? Oh, I, th I think absolutely. So you know, it's a. Uh well, the single player is a lot of fun, and uh, you know I don't think you necessarily have to be a. I think even if you're you're just a comic book fan, especially the DC universe, you're, you're going to get a lot of enjoyment here. Yeah, I, I think there's just the campaign's long enough. Even if you're yeah. afraid of of online, there's yeah. so much to do in this game. Absolutely. Just solo. I mean, even aside from the campaign, which like, like I said, it's like 12 to 14 hours long. Uh, you or maybe, I don't know if it's quite that long, but it's, it's lengthy. Um, but uh, you also have the star missions, and it's just it's just fantastic. So it just again a supreme effort. Really looking forward to seeing what NetherRealm is going to be doing in the future. Yeah, there's also PS4. An iOS, also a bit of an iOS version. Yes, there was a companion game that came out that had more like touch screen yeah. uh, mechanics. But yeah, again, if, if you need to get more of, of that universe. There, there's lots of options. So that's uh, it's been a fantastic episode of JGLBA. Check out Injustice Gods Among Us for all platforms. Uh, tune in again to more Joystick Justice League for more content. I'm Mike Frusios. Enjoy more. And we'll see you again, guys, soon. Peace. Game on. Game on, guys.